So guys, congrats on the win. Thank uh, you. Obviously a long history with the MMBAs. We saw you reading Ben earlier. Seamlessly from the teleprompter earlier. It's so easy. <laughs> Absolutely natural. seamless. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's so strange when you're doing that type of thing. But yes. Yeah. yeah, does it feel weird? It must feel weird, right? Well, we were supposed to have read and had known going into it that and I did not do it. We didn't memorize it. Anymore, so. Oh well. It's, it's our fault. Well, we well, too well, as they said on the red carpet, 29 nominations, yes. including the four tonight. How gratifying, obviously you toured the world, how gratifying it was it to come back to your hometown and, and get to be here at the MMBA? So this is really part of what helped rise you guys to what you right now. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's, uh, this, you know, MMBAs have done a lot for us and much has done a lot for us over the years and uh, we're really proud to be here. Cool. Uh, questions from the floor? Rudy Blair, 680 News. Rudy. You know, I'll just yell it out. <laughs> First, yeah, congratulations, but I've got to ask you guys, Mariana's Trench, I don't know if they beat you or not on the red carpet, because you guys, I always say the uh, the tank, Yes. nobody beat the tank. No one can beat the tank. But Mariana's Trench came real close to the thing. what? Well, they had some kind of what was it? It was a duck tank. They were duck like tank. Ah, uh, really? yeah. If you can't can articulate it, you lose. <laughs> <laughs> you are done, Marianna's trip. <laughs> Don't tank. Do, do you guys ever think that anybody is going to beat the tank? Because I always say every year, no. the tank is what needs to be beat. I, I, I honestly can't see how a form of transport can beat that unless it's no. an aircraft carrier. Unless it's repelling down the side of the building like in a or an aircraft. Yeah. Snowbird. Airwolf. <laughs> Airwolf would be great. Airwolf, yeah. Airwolf would be great. Or we're showing our age. <laughs> question in the back. Question in the back. Yes, question in the back there. No? There is no question in the back. No. I think you just made it up. Oh, uh, I've got one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. I uh, I'm Tony Ross for 1031 Fresh FM Hello. in London. Yeah. Now, uh, you guys have had fans throughout the entire years and on and on and on. And I personally, like when I was going through high school, which seems like forever ago, a uh, huge fan. How does it make you feel knowing that people of every age are connecting with your lyrics? Oh. And is, it, is it intense? That's pretty cool. That's a great question. <laughs> yeah, that is a very good question. Uh, yeah, I think the, the weird thing for us is like we played last night at Young and Dundas for uh, North Point of the East and it was crazy and all, you know, there was, it was free and it was lovely and there was thousands of people there which was cool and it was weird to see how different the, the demographic was of people in the age groups, you know, because up front was pretty young, and then you see like these old dudes like kind of in the back, and it's like, I, I guess one thing that we've always tried to do is pride ourselves on writing the best music we can that moves us, and uh, hopefully it moves other people, and that's a beautiful thing about music as an art form is that it transcends everything. A good song doesn't matter if you're 15 or if you're 55, you know, if it connects with you and if it hits you, that's the most important thing. So. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Have you noticed your fan base changing? Because I remember back in Ottawa, I, I loved bands like At The Drive-In, and then I remember yeah. when your first single came out, and I thought, oh my god, I've been a fan since then, and have grown up with you, but do you have that next generation of fans now? Or maybe even your original fans bringing their kids at this point? Totally. Yeah, yeah. which is really cool. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really all over the map. Yeah. It really is. It's yeah. amazing. Awesome. It kind of matches our personalities, because we're all over the place, so <laughs> it's super cool. In yeah. a good way. Cool. Yeah. Stephanie from uh, this uh, yeah. network. Um, you guys are probably the most seasoned band playing today. Oldest? Um, yeah. <laughs> old yeah. 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 The polite way to say old fucks. Uh, <laughs> what are your favorite memories of my music growing up? I'm growing up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, power Hour with Trust. Power Hour, yeah. yeah. She was so hot. Eric Hannon. Eric Hannon. Master T. Yeah. Yeah. And then Master when Weird Al would take over. Yeah. Oh, going Coastal. That was Going Coastal. That was good as well. Uh, Nardwar, who's still on, but I love Nardwar. Uh, yeah, I mean, much music was a huge thing for us. You know, I remember watching like The Wedge and watching like the wacky videos, you know, and uh, seeing a lot of bands and watching the Pixies and things like that, you know. So yeah, much has always been a huge, uh, especially for us going up where, you know, much music used to play videos all the time. It was 24 hours, so you'd always be exposed to new things and new artists and new cool ideas visually as well. So. Uh, much music has been a huge influence on us as people and has definitely helped us as a band as well. Cool. Hey. Ta -da. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. 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 Where are you? I'm right here. I, I am Matthew B. Smell from 98.3 Flat FM and 98 Now Drive in Kingston, Ontario. Canada. It's done. What's up? It's done. Uh, you know, not much. Just hanging out at the MMBA. Yeah. What's up with you? <laughs> not much. Cool. Uh, you guys won for best post-production tonight. I just want to, uh, you know, get from you guys. Get a sense of 
What makes a great Pulse producer, and what message would you have for all the young, up-and-coming Pulse producers out there? Well, we've always prided pri ourselves on being Pulse producers. <laughs> yeah. When we first started playing, post-production was... Uh, yeah. <laughs> and no, and also was part of the band. In, yeah, and also uh, Michael Maxis, uh, who directed the video, uh, used um, all these different people and out of ours. Actually, our yeah, the, as well. the two companies yeah. that use Screaming Death Monkey and, and Rooster, and they're uh, you know very small companies that uh, work really really hard. They work their ass. Yeah, like, they did on the post, and and that's why the video turned out so great. And we are kind of iffy as well because we're never we never had used post production before in a video, like especially. You know, where the whole video was based around. Yeah. So uh, they they really did a good job. It took a long time to get it done, <laughs> but hey, good food takes a long time to cook. You know, unless it's sushi. Unless it's sushi. <laughs> <laughs> well, you won for surprise, surprise. After all this time in the business and all your success, does anything still surprise you guys when you're on the road or or in the studio? What was the last thing that surprised you? It surprises us that people actually ask us questions. <laughs> <laughs> We're the biggest nerds you'll meet in your life. <laughs> but uh, no, it's uh, every day's a, a surprise. <laughs> Today, today's actually a, a, a really fun day. Seeing Cy perform with Yeah, the it was actually Scott funny. We were backstage presenting an award, and Ian was kind of like all of a sudden he just kind of walked ahead, and then he was kind of all of a sudden Cy's entourage was there. And it was just Stuck Ian and behind him. Not being able to like move anywhere, and he's I getting was, interviewed. Yeah, I, and I was just like Kramer in the background. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So that's how we operate. Everything else is kind of, we're just like a, you know, a weird little side couple of You force yourself into the entourages of others. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but not, like, forcefully. <laughs> <laughs> By accident.